twilight of Earth's great civilizations, we were chosen. Some were selected for their skills, others for their strength, and some by luck. Great ships were the embodiment of each nation's ingenuity, courage, and faith. And they sent us to the stars in search of a new home. As we raced skyward, we carried aloft the hopes and dreams of those left behind. Our journey through deep space was long and quiet. is finally over. Now we look upon our new world for the first time. On these alien shores, our destiny waits. A new beginning for mankind. Hello, this is Dalen75 Games. Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. This is the beginning of a new Let's Play for this game. Uh, in light of me waiting to begin Baldur's Gate, which I've been waiting nearly a year for for this one um, mod to finish up. I'm actually in contact with the author of it and uh, watching it every day. But uh, I want to be able to put out something else. I've actually bought this game and uh, I pre-ordered it. You know, uh, I love Civilization... Um, Four and Civilization Five. Once the first two um, DLCs were released, it turned into a pretty good game. And uh, I've already put up a whole Let's Play of Civilization Five, where I was Japan and I conquered basically all everyone's capitals on the uh, planet. Um, I was going to put out this game starting the because I actually got it the day, same day it was released. Um, but I was that was back in November. Was it November? It was November. Was it? No, it was October. Um, yeah, I wasn't feeling good at all. I was actually quite ill at the time, so, uh, put it off, uh, been quite busy, but things are kind of, in the last few weeks are kind of, uh, I ha I'm having free, freer time. Um, I'm actually ahead by about 20, 30 videos of my other, uh, Let's Plays I'm doing. So, I'm gonna do this, and, uh, we're gonna go through a whole Let's Play of it. I played through... I, there's a bit of patch release since last time I played it. When I was sick, I played it quite a bit. Uh, so let's... Not load game. Let's... No. Set up game. Uh, I've been playing... Map size standard. Difficulty Gemini. Yeah. So Vostok was kind of like a... Uh, you know, where you uh, beginners play. That's... For me, it was just way too easy. Uh, Gemini, I've one maybe a couple times I think I have it down what to do uh, the problem is that there's a new patch so uh, changed quite a few things I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it if, if I fail I fail um, yeah but I'm gonna go with it because it's more exciting and just dominating everything okay map size standard uh, difficulty epic uh, I don't want to go marathon anymore I'm actually I don't like marathon speeds it's just too slow even for me playing on my own Especially near the end of the game. Okay, uh, I like to play as the Ark, the American. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I haven't played since uh, probably about mid-November. Ark, uh, American Recla Reclamation. I forget who they are. 
Uh, but it's the uh, basically what's left of North America, uh, especially the United States. Now, these are all different uh, factions from around the world. Franco-Iberia, basically, probably Western Europe, I would think. Pan-Asian Cooperative, Eastern Asia, Slavic Federation. Basically, Eastern Europe and uh, all of Russia. Paul Australia kind of speaks herself. The Pacific and Australia. Kavithan Protectorate. Protectorate, uh, that's like uh, India and uh, Pakistan. South Asia, basically. And Brasilia, um, I think that would represent all of South America. Uh, Brazil would be obviously the leading nation there. So they're not so much nations, they're more like factions that are banded together. This is a corporation, that's right, American something corporation and African Union that kind of speaks for itself. So I like it because I really like covert operations, but apparently they've nerfed it since uh, I was playing. It used to be very easy to make money on that. I'm not sure if it's the same anymore. Um, hmm. Okay, so the other thing I like to do, I like to go culture. Artists. I might have to go advanced setup, though. Let's see. Yeah, I do need to go advanced. Okay. I don't like the contact victory. It's just too easy. The AI loves to do that. The other three, domination, that's just cap, basically like capturing capitals, I would think. Promised land, amassed, uh, transcendence. Now, I think that's for, there's three different groups that you go into. Uh, the first one, geez, I'm sorry guys, I haven't literally played in months, so I'm <laughs> trying to remember exactly what it all was. Okay, so promised land, I believe, is purity. Um, it's... It's kind of like the end game in Civilization V where you choose which kind of government you have. Uh, purity is all about uh, keeping that human aspect of ourselves. Emancipation, and then there's transcendence. Uh, or is Promised Land? I forget actually, but there's purity, there's harmony, which is uh, trying to genetically merge our human bodies with the planet um in like that in that we can live on the planet like uh, alien life forms can because a lot of like there's it, it's hostile a lot of the world's hostile to you and uh, transcendence um yeah so these are the three three different ones there's supremacy i do like supremacy where you kind of try to become more like robots uh i just like their units frenzied aliens i go with that um total domination Oh, every unit needs to be destroyed. Allow unit deferral. What's this? Culture develop a virtue later. Okay. Not a big deal. Okay, so I have this. Let's go up to my choices on the game. Spacecraft. I like to go with retrograde thrusters. Be able to see, uh, basically, to it allows you to change where you, your initial uh, landing spot is in a larger area. You get more choices. Um, so instead of a very limited area that you can choose, you get a much larger area to where to set up your capital. So cargo, uh, raw materials. Oh yes, that's what this is. Um, I like to go. Was it machinery worker unit? Yeah, I'll go with that. Planet options. Massive continent holds a deep wilderness in its interior, rich with resources and thickly populated with indigenous life. That's kind of interesting. I think I did this last time. It's kind of a fun game. Map size standard. Uh, random map terrain. Uh, I like fungal, actually. It's quite alien. But I think there should be one where it's a mix of all three. There's desert and lush. But I'm going to go with randomized. Uh, difficulty level, Gemini. Uh, world age, random, random. It's resources, strategic balance. I think I'm going to go with this. And uh, I have to... I, I find that one of the most difficult aspects of the game is to... Watch your uh, your culture and your technology. Um, it's always important to keep up with whatever um, of of the three purity, harmony, or supremacy. Uh, keep your numbers up. I think it maxes out around twenty one or twenty two. Uh, the higher num that number, the more powerful units you'll have access to. And you'll need specific resources to be able to build each one. I can't just say I'm going to go supremacy if I don't have the resources on the lands that I uh, kind of start out in. Although I, I've kind of held off and gone, in previous games, held off and gone after the resources, then chosen it. Um, it it's a little bit dangerous. I think we have the desert one, which I don't particularly like, but that's, that's okay. Wow. This is all I get. 
Well, it's nice to be along a river. You do see quite a bit. Yeah, it looks like we can go Supremacy. There is two Firaxite up there. That's what I wanted. Uh, six Firaxite in total that I can see. There's also Floatstone, which is for purity. But we'll go along here. You can't use the mountains, but... Um, plains, plains. See, there's mount there's hills all down here. And there's Silica. Silica? It's silica, right? Yeah. Looks like it. Looks like it's silica. Because my eyes are. I need glasses. <laughs> this is not a bad spot right here. I can get silica, silica right here. Um, coral, one, two, three. Yes, we do get coral. And you can also get algae. Uh, there's floatstone over there. And you start out with more production. Is this floodplain? So very nice. There's several floodplains around, which means that you will get uh, more food production. The only thing that's not great is that there's a mountain here, but that could offer me defensive uh, abilities. So, let's go. Since we with the, we have our Ark Explorer... Yeah, it's, isn't it American Reclamation Corporation? Pretty sure that's it. Let's go get the resource pods. And... Oh, we have a worker. Well, what is it sitting on? It's sitting on... Okay, yeah, let's do a farm. It's not a hill, is it? Floodplains and desert. Let's go with the farm. Okay, so there's production and then there's research. Uh, victories update. Our Mother Earth was plagued by war and strife, by cruelty, by suffering. Even here on this new world, these sorrows pursue us. Our enemies abound and they will never relent while, we, the, bleh, while they believe they are vulnerable. Well, they believe we are vulnerable. We must be strong if we are to survive, vigilant if we are to preserve our security and the future of our way of life. The only certain way to safeguard our new home is to become the undisputed masters of it. You must conquer the capital city of every other faction on the planet, only then with all rival nations eradicated of or united under a banner will peace truly be assured. No, I don't I don't want to go for that victory. Let's just click these things off. Source pod discovers there's three of them around the area. I just see I see two. Is there one down here? Yeah, there's a third one right there. Okay, so let's go into research. It's uh, a web, not a... Uh, I don't think it was a tree before. I guess it was kind of like a tree. This is a web. Okay, so basically we start out with habitation. Uh, that's it. There's no other text. Now, if I'm going to go supremacy, and I'll have to keep an eye out for here, these will get you a point. Every time you see this, it'll get you a point in pers um, that faction. Sorry, it's not faction. I forget what it's called. In that uh, affinity, that's what it's called. Stellar Codex. So, ah, finally. Okay, I had trouble finding out what a wonder was before. They changed it. Now it's got like a gold hue around it. Okay, so now I can easily see the wonders are all over the place. Uh, I just got used to what wonder was. I had to, like read every damn thing. It was hard to find out what wonders were. Uh, so, you know what? I think I'm going to have to look at this because I made up a rule after losing uh, quite badly that I can only go five technologies ahead. And uh, so this is the... the um, it's like a tree. And these are the branches. So, uh, branch technologies, I do believe, cost a little bit more than the actual tree. You know, as you can see, they do cost... Okay, so I'll be back, and I'm going to decide what technologies to go with. Uh, like I said, I haven't played in a while, so... I want to actually win this. I don't want to fail. And it's with this difficulty level, I've failed more than I've won. Until I got it down uh, the way I like to play. Alright, uh, I don't see where I can change the keys. There doesn't seem to be any way to do it. So every time I hit F9, it takes me out. Um, which is... F9 is... how I guess I could change the key I use on fraps. Okay, so habitation, you start off with a worker, uh, explorer, a soldier I can build, uh, old earth relic, that's the first thing I like to build. It's basically like the monument in Civ 5. Um, and then a clinic. Health is one of the most important things in the game. It allows you to have your growth. Um, yeah, it's it's it was, if not still is, at least it was before the patch, severely limiting y your gameplay. And uh, the AI cheats like a mother um, mother effer in fact I don't even know if it uses 
health because it has colonies that it shouldn't it be anywhere near the size that it gets, even on the lower uh, difficulty. It's it's just cheats. Um, I've I found all Civ games actually cheat. I think that they were trying to say that Civ Four didn't cheat, but it still cheated. Uh, it, they all cheat just to keep up with human player because human player is better. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go with chemistry first uh, to get that laboratory more science. Uh, more laboratory recycler. It also gives me more production. And uh, so also plus one production from trade routes. I hope they've dealt with the trade routes are really tedious before you, every couple turns you have to. Because you have like three trade routes per city or two to three. One to three. I think you have three uh, at the most. Uh, if you're probably Australia, I think you get an extra one. And uh, the trade routes, like, because they expire every 20, 30 turns, it's like every few turns you have a dozen cities, you're every turn or two you are having to reassign it and it doesn't it doesn't easily say what the last place was it was just stupid uh i hope that it, even total biscuit complained but everybody complained about it this game has a lot of potential it's not bad it's not a terrible game i would say it's it's got a ton of potential that could be used and i think that they kind of did that on purpose that's how they brought out civ 5 everyone's bitching about it uh it's just it's like half a game but with the future dlcs the game becomes more complete. And uh, also there was a recent announcement there's going to be Sid Meier's Starships that will be like a space combat game. Um, not sure if it will be in the vein of... Uh, what's the old one? Uh, uh, Master of Orion. I don't know if it will be like that or not. But it's supposed to be tied into this game somehow. Same universe. I don't know if you'll be able to play... I think you'll be somehow some kind of crossing between the games of some kind. I don't know. So anyways, I'm going to go with Pioneering next. Uh, not so much for the colonists, although that is important too. The train convoys are very important. If you can set up a good trade convoy at the beginning and keep it, very important. Uh, this also, ecology is important. It's not super important in the beginning, but it uh, allows you... Oh, plus one vivarium. Plus one from desert. That's pretty important, actually. Because we are on a desert. Ultrasonic fence, uh, yeah, that's very important too. It keeps the alien life forms from killing your, depending on the choices you make, from killing your uh, trade routes, um, trade route thingies, your machines and ships, your land routes, whatever, your caravans. Okay, so uh, I don't go five technologies, uh, uh, more than five ahead. So one, two, uh, physics. I would like more production. Uh, this is. 10% production for land units, repair facility. Uh, reveals titanium on the map, but also could add to a lot of production. It's pretty bare bones around my starting city. I'm thinking that there's a lot of hidden things around. But thorium reactor, uh, energy, plus three. Uh, very good. And it gives me a new uh, unit, combat unit, combat rover. Uh, so we are at three technologies. Uh, let's go with ecology. I am a little bit hampered by the amount of time it takes to research these things. If you see 48, then it jumps up 125, then there's 190, then 385. So there's very few you can choose at first. So it's kind of... I like how that is, in a way. Uh, Pharma Lab. Okay, so we are four. We do one more. Uh, observatory. Uh, work will improve source of Phyraxite. It will not help us at first. Um, requires a workable improved source of Phyraxite. Hmm. In the future it will. But not right now. I think we'll go with genetics. Uh, like I said, health is one of the most important things. This Cyto Nursery also gives plus one science, plus one health, and Farm Lab is plus two health. So that is where we're going to go. Get out of that. Go back to Central as our uh, capital city. Let's go to production, choose production. Pretty limited at first, worker, explorer, soldier for units, and clinic, an old earth relic. Uh, I do very much like uh, culture in this game. Culture basically can really up the, the number of uh, health that you have overall. Okay, so uh, we already have a worker out there. I think that we're okay. Um, we have an explorer as well. I think we're okay for that. Let's go with clinic. Oops. This, how do I... Uh how do you do a queue? I used to be able to show... I think it was it Wonders is what we have here. Open the production queue. There we go. Okay. All right. So old Earth Relic, 12 turns, and Clinic, 18 turns. Um, we can also go Soldier. 
Sometimes I get massive battles with aliens. Uh, it can go on for quite a while. <laughs> so, uh, and with the, uh, yeah, sometimes I lose quite a lot of soldiers. It could be a little bit uh, tedious. Not so much tedious, it could be a lot of fun. It could also be very stressful. There's few times I've actually riled them up to the point that they will come after your cities. That's rare, at least from the way I played. They start out with the green color of the aliens. That is not on the map right now. But if they turn yellow, that means you've really pissed them off. They'll go right after your cities. Um, but it seems to be like I can kill 20 of them and kill a couple of nests before I get them to go yellow. So, yeah. Uh, by the time I'm ready to start taking them on at that rate, that usually means I have a large military. It's only happened to me a couple times where my cities were under threat. Um, okay, so. Next turn. Somebody always lands on the first turn. They don't all start at the same time you do. They have to land, too, because we're all coming from Earth. This Samatar Jama Bare. I, just like Civ, there's nothing to do. <laughs> I have nothing to trade with them. I have nothing to negotiate with them. Uh, he's... To me, with the way I play, he's usually kind of in the middle. Sometimes he really ticks me off. Uh, other times, he's a decent trading partner. He's somewhat far. I, I don't know how far he is, but... Uh, let's get our explorer out there. Yeah, when they land later on, they won't start with how you started with practically nothing uh, technology-wise. They'll start with more technology. They'll probably start with some culture already. Um, here's your uh, virtues. It's basically what the culture tree is like. Uh, I go knowledge up to a certain point. Uh, let's see. For science, um, I go down, I basically pick a lot of these, and then I start going down here. It's all about, for me, getting health. Uh, see, like, this is plus 0.2 health for every building, which can work out to be quite a lot. Um, I, I basically try to fill out the knowledge and industry tree. I might go over to might a bit. Prosperity has never interested me because I can just spy uh, for all the energy I need. Energy is your money in the game. Inside the resource pod, you found a catch of laboratory equipment from old Earth made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. The equipment is eagerly welcomed by your scientists, providing 28 research. Okay, so it's reduced it. It started out at 48. Now it's at, well, you can see 34 of 142. So 36 more turns. And uh, send this guy, this rover, off there. All right, guys, I'm going to end the very first video. Quest log is updated. And we'll read what it says uh, in the next one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.